Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Iberian review. I think channel debut for my Real Sociedad shirt. Real Sociedad totally deserves to be worn and to be talked about. Unfortunately I didn't see too much of them but, uh, this week but what they are doing is pretty pretty impressive. Also pretty impressive was the general weekend in La Liga with two really 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 remarkable com comebacks. So yeah, um, and also poor Portugal, that was a pretty big result in there as well. Not a surprising one, but a pretty big one. Um, just quickly, <laughs> you to see the madness that I have uh, in choosing the jerseys. I usually choose uh, the, you know, jerseys are similar to the jerseys that were worn by the teams, which would have meant that Valencia is white here, but then there's too much white going on here. So I decided, okay. Let's put the Valencia away jersey just to break up all this whiteness here behind me, which is probably the one problem I have with this uh, Iberian background that I have. There is a whole lot of white in there, which doesn't always look that super attractive, but you know, we'll work on that and we'll get other shirts in there as well. Uh, we, I quickly, Portugal, uh, where all the big three won. Um, Porto and Sporting had away wins uh, thanks to home fulfilled which means that you know they are kind of they had the biggest jump in the expected standings. However, away wins is just because you know you have to overcome the uh, home field advantage. The big win though is Benfica over Braga because Braga is we said it last time is the team that could jump in there is not quite in there beating them 6-1 after being beaten themselves by Bayern not too long ago, uh, midweek, is I think a pretty huge result. So uh, kudos to Benfica. I just called them out that they better get something going or better look uh, out that Porto and Sporting are not uh, ra running away because those two always seem to be a little bit more consistent in their results. Uh, but you know, if you look at the table, we have Sporting uh, nine wins, two draws, same as Sports Sporting, and Benfica is on nine wins uh, and one draw, one loss. Um, but it's and it's Porto uh, Benfica Sporting in the expected standings. But more on that in my stats cast that will come uh, last today. But that win also kind of cements Braga into this fourth spot. They are uh, too good for the rest of, of the league and too bad for the top three. So uh, again, it's a top three matchup in Portugal as we very often get. Going over to Spain, a uh, quick shout out to Espanyol, getting another, another win just ahead of the Derby. So they're looking kind of good. Maybe the international break will break things up. Barcelona also looked really good in the first half. Really impressive. I mean, I had that game on um, and I thought in the first half, you know, I'm looking. Ansu Fati, 5th minute, really nice, nice, nice thing, taking goal. Sergio Busquets is scoring. I thought this Sergi, maybe he has a little um, a magic potion there because Barcelona did everything that we didn't see under Kuman as of long as them and Depay with another great shot makes it 3-0. Three, three you thought the game is done and does it. I thought the game is done and does it. Um, because, you know, I went kind of to take, take a shower uh, in the second half. I mean, I saw it was 1-3, uh, but I kind of lost a little, a little bit the, uh, the attention. Uh, Iago Aspos making 50 second 1-3. The big problem for Barcelona uh, was that uh, Ansu Fati had to come, come off at halftime with an, in, with an injury, which is wor wor worrisome in two ways, not only because he's the best player for Barcelona, but also for his career. Um, it's not the time when you're young and you're picking up in injuries that usually takes a little bit away from you. So that's a little bit more than Eric Garcia had to come off, uh, and even Nico, you know. They really had that only young guys out there more, uh, more, 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 more or less, and their new talisman also missing. And you could see how they just, they didn't have this, um, how does it, self-confidence that, yeah, we can beat those guys. They didn't have that at all. Uh, and so it seemed almost inevitable. Nolito in the 7th, 74th makes it 2-3. And uh, that's the goal I, I didn't see. And then I said, okay. Maybe this is a game that I better watch. And I was in a way glad that I watched. You know that I have a very soft spot for Vigo. I mean, Barcelona is, I think, among the big Spanish teams, uh, the team that, you know, I admire the most for whatever they are. My brothers are big fans. But there's something about Celta Vigo that I always liked. And something about Iago Aspas. And the way he scores in the 96th minute, that was an awesome strike. 
boy, the way this curse, the way he takes the shot, this was, uh, I think Sid Lowe said it's almost like Messi's fa famous goal at, at, at bed. It's not as delicately, but skill level-wise, was that a fine goal. A 3-3, and now, dear brothers, now you know how I felt in Istanbul, but you know. It's just a league game, let's put it that way. Uh, in any case, so 3-3, big shocker for Barcelona. And now we also have it confirmed that Xavi, he was presented uh, yesterday, is the new coach. Kind of very sure of himself that he will do, uh, that, that he will bring a change to Barcelona. So I said it last week, I'm not too fond of the appointment quite yet. However, I wish him all the all, all best and I hope he is of the Guardiola ilk. Um, Let's see. I think we need a stronger Barcelona because Barcelona like this is a little bit of a joke and this is uh, honestly really hard to see. Uh, meanwhile, Levante still cannot get out of it, lose, losing to Alaves. Al Alaves, we were down there now, uh, but up, up again. Real Madrid also, uh, I mean, the first goal by Toni Kroos, more or less it is Iago Aspas uh, ilk as well. They have a 2-0 win, look really, really good for 80 minutes, have control of the game, and I think Real Madrid at the moment is the most consistent side, and for that reason, still my favorites to win uh, La Liga. Uh, but then Radamel Falcao comes on and scores very shortly there, they have to make it 2-1, unfortunately he has to come off a few minutes later again. But still, the last 10 minutes, Real Madrid looked a little bit shaky and uh, Rava Icaro had a huge chance to equalize, to steal and uh, to steal points from another uh, team. Villarreal, for a change, uh, does win. And then the other incredible game. And you see, uh, especially in Stats, guys, watch that the average uh, amount of goals in La Liga is suddenly rising. We are, we are over 2.4 or already. We was on 2.3, 2.2. There are now the goals coming in. The weather is getting cooler. Goals are being scored in Spain. Valencia against Atletico Madrid. Uh, Atletico Madrid had a 3-1 lead going into stoppage time with a great goal by Griezmann in there. Versaco Su Suarez. Su the, the Suarez goal is really fun because uh, it barely makes it over, over the land and the ball is just lying back there. It was the first goal. Uh, Savage on goal. But, you know, 3-1. Atletico really, really, really cruising. And then Hugo Duro, uh, I think he came on the 85th, he sc scores two stop stoppage time goals in the 92nd and 96th, a huge stoppage time added there. So yeah, uh, and I think right full, 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 full so, but uh, that we are not used from Atletico Madrid. I think they're still in a, they had a rough week, I mean, being completely outclassed by Liverpool and now um, that's at Valencia. Again, it's not the Atletico Madrid we are used to see. But it's still a very remarkable result uh, there. As I said, Real Sociedad get a 2-0 win away from Osasuna uh, despite having injuries, despite playing a rather young team, uh, despite having to play midweek and Osasuna having eight days to prepare. Miguel Merino, who uh, uh, coach Imanol uh, anointed them the best player in La Liga, I think uh, Bosma has a little bit on him, uh, Gives them then the lead and then Janusa with a penalty, uh, the winner. But this is, I think, without Oyar Sabal and I think even David Silva uh, did not re really play air. Yeah, pretty impressive stuff. This team reminds me a bit of Milan last season, where they had the injuries, uh, they are a young team, they played, played, played in Europe, uh, so, 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 but there's a certain assuredness in there. Uh, that sees them winning and while I don't think they will challenge for the title I think they may challenge for um, a Champions League spot which would be rather re remarkable. Uh, Real Sociedad is one of those really really uh, well-led clubs in Europe uh, that's a little bit overlooked so uh, looking forward to see more of them. Uh, of course, I watched the Milan Derby, so couldn't really see much of the Seville der Derby. It all went downhill with a uh, setting off for Rodriguez in the 40th, 45th minute. From that moment on, Sevilla just controlled the game uh, and got the goals through Acuna and then an on goal by Bell uh, Bellerin. So uh, that's that. As I said, uh, you will you see a stats cast while Real Sociedad is uh, at the moment still on top top of the Liga, uh, but they have a game in hand. Uh, it's really that uh, the um, uh, Real Madrid and Sevilla that stay uh, on top with Atletico already falling a little bit behind, but it's still Real Madrid uh, ahead of Atletico and ahead of Sevilla. That's kind of the standing. And at the moment, Real Sociedad has leapfrog Barcelona. So that is also, so we have a new top four uh, in the expected things, but you'll see all of that in the sets cast. 
any case, uh, please drop anything below. If you want to add something to what I said in this video, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.